A hot, sunny afternoon. Just the right conditions to load up the family airplane and head out for a local sightseeing flight. But you know, it's on days like this that pilots should be aware of density altitude and how it affects the performance of your aircraft. When the density of air is reduced at high altitudes or in high temperatures, an aircraft requires more runway for takeoff and longer to climb. To demonstrate this effect, we compared similar models of Cessna 172s operating out of two fields. Springbank Airport in Alberta has a field elevation of 3,937 feet above sea level. Fuel tanks were topped up and the takeoff weight calculated. Similar preparations were made at Lindsay Airport in Ontario at 882 feet above sea level. Temperatures, wind, weight and indicated airspeed for takeoff were the same. The results? The 172 at Springbank took 222 feet longer before rotation and climbed at 125 feet per minute slower. While density altitude may be an obvious factor for pilots, it's equally important to understand the significance of hot temperatures that may affect performance. For this comparison, the test was performed again at Lindsay Airport, once with the air temperature of 28 degrees Celsius and again on a day at zero degrees Celsius. With identical weight, wind speed and direction and lift off at the same indicated airspeed, on the hot day, the same Cessna 172 took an extra 165 feet to leave the ground and the climb was reduced from 512 to 422 feet per minute, a reduction of over 15% in performance. To review the effects that density altitude has on your aircraft, check the pilot's operating handbook, follow the data, and you'll be well on your way to making every flight a safer one.